In this video, I would like to explain about the n-dimensional array as well as the array of car or array of character. The n-dimensional array. The first that we will learn in this video is the two-dimensional array. So to declare as well as initialize the value of the two-dimensional array, we create the array, for example, integer a. So we create array namely a with three rows and four columns. And this is the values. The values for the n-dimensional array is written inside the bracket, the curly bracket. And then for every single row, we create another bracket like this one. So this is the row number one, this is row number two, this is row number three. AK, okay, this is rows index zero, one, and two. Because we call the value of the array or we access the value of the array using the index. The illustration is like this one. So when we execute this code, it actually like this one for the illustration. So zero will be stored in the array a in the index zero comma zero i mean the index for the rows is zero and index for the column is zero and i store the value zero another example i store this value six in the rows index one and columns index two This is how we access the two-dimensional array. This is the previous array. So the current array is like this one. This is current uh, array uh, that we name it A, three, four, three rows, four columns. And then we try to modify it by assigning the values, the new values into specific uh, element, into the specific index. For example, I'm trying to modify the A index 0, 0, which means row 0, column 0. So this one, I'm going to uh, modify it and replace it with 12. And then 1, 1, rows 1, column 1, it is here, 12. And then rows 1, column 2, rows 1, column 2. And then the last row number or index two and column index three will be here. The result will be like this one. So this is how you access the uh, two dimensional array. It is similar if you create the n dimensional array. So you have to determine uh, the rows as well as the column. And then to access it, just uh, access it using this bracket for example this is like a two-dimensional because it has rows and column if you want to create a third dimensional array or matrix then you can access like this one this one and this one and just call the index and for uh, the initialization just put it inside the bracket so this is the outer bracket and this is for the first rows uh, and then maybe this is another bracket here and etc etc the next is array of char or we call it string string actually is a collection of char or array of char and then in the string uh, we use a zero or actually it is backslash zero which is uh, it represents a null value, null value, and uh, it's supposed to be placed at the end of the array of character as a sign of the end of the string. It used to differentiate it with regular array, so it can be treated as string instead of just a regular array, like integer array and etc. So we use null or backslash zero at the end of the uh, array of char for example like this one we create uh, char text and we can just 
type the the values in the string uh, type like this one computer it is has the same meaning with the computer at we add it with the null sign it represents the end of the string so when we do the operation uh, the string operation like string length when we check the length between text for example this is text and this is text one text and text one the result will be the same it is eight character so here we go with the string manipulation uh, you can do manipulation for the string so if you want to do manipulation then just create your char array of char and then give it a uh, null sign so there are so many manipulation like the string copy copy from source to destination so the parameter is dash and source string and copy copy but with an character and then string cut here uh, add string to the end of the destination string length to check the length or how many characters inside the string this is the first example don't forget to use string h here and then in the main i create array of char namely text one and here i type string or text here and then in the second example i type just computer and with null sign if we check the length it will be the same we can also do string manipulation like this one so this is the before and then this is the after so uh, i'm trying to this is before the before is computer but because i'm using string copy here string copy copy from text one to text two for two character so from the destination uh, to the destination from source and for and character so in this example i have two characters hey and then put it into the text two which will replace co so it became computer okay i think that's all thank you